I'm hoping that the anticipation of this is worse than the action. But somehow I doubt it. Somehow I doubt it. Yeah. The guys from uh, athletic training brought the uh, ice buckets over. There's two of them. Good. And uh, so I put my hand in. And it's cold, cold water. I am totally pumped about this, I think. I have rarely been this excited about anything in my life. <laughs> Any final words? That's not a good way to put it, actually, is it? <laughs> Blob, any comments as we uh, go forward with this? <laughs> like you said. Good morning, I'm uh, Father Mike Graham, president of Xavier University. These are some musketeers. Let's hear it. <laughs> I haven't had my shower yet today, and so I thought I'd join the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. I've been called out by my good friend, President Santa Ono of the University of Cincinnati. And in thanks for President Ono calling me out, I want to call out in turn his entire board of trustees. No, seriously, not them actually, but I'd like to call out um, uh, our soccer coach here, Andy Fleming. I'd like to call out Phil Castellini of the Cincinnati Reds. I'd like to call out Bishop Joe Benzer of the Archdiocese of Cincinnati. And further, because a man's reach ought his grasp exceed, I'd like to call out my uh, good Jesuit brother, our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Uh, <laughs> Holy Father, it isn't on my behalf, but on behalf of my brother Phil, who's lived with ALS for five and a half years, for his uh, good wife, uh, uh, Regina, who's from Brazil, and for their son, uh, Ryan Lucas. Um, it's only some cold water, and it doesn't last long, at least so I'm told. Let's go, Let's go, X! 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 Well, there's a real personal tie for the ALS challenge for me, Cliff, um, because uh, my youngest brother, Phil, was diagnosed with uh, ALS five and a half years ago. The average length to, um, of, from diagnosis to mortality is four years, so <clears throat> he's had a year and a half uh, of kind of grace. Uh, we almost lost him April a couple years ago, uh, but he decided to have a trach, um, and so uh, he's confined to a wheelchair, as you can ex imagine. He can't speak, um, although the new trach he has will allow him to speak a little bit, but it requires a lot of energy. So, but they just built uh, uh, a new house and Phil in his wheelchair with his computer kind of custom designed everything, you know, um, and so that was real fun for him. He's very fussy about uh, how it is that things uh, need to be. Um, and so it took him a while to get the backsplash exactly right and the granite exactly right, you know, but it was just really uh, a great thing for him to be able to do it. Um, He's the youngest of seven uh, in the family, I'm the oldest, uh, and we've always been very close. Um, and so uh, it was a real shattering thing for the family uh, to have him diagnosed. Um, but he and his wife uh, chose to move back to um, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, where the rest of the family is, from suburban Washington, D.C. a couple years ago just to be around family and everybody's real good about you know helping out as need be and uh, being around and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I'll be home um, in a couple weeks and look forward to seeing him. <laughs>